Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on the underscore box here, and today we are doing a review of Nogder and Tolton. And I'm gonna keep doing this until we get through all of them. So, we're gonna have you know a review of each zombies game in Chronicles. Now, they are fully remastered, so yet again, so. I'm going to give my thoughts on what I think about this game so far and the maps and as we're going to knock right now. It's fully remastered. As you can see, we have the gumball there and I'm just looking around. My character is just, you know, looking around to see what's new in Nocturne and Tolton. But it's basically the same thing if you guys haven't played it. It's just the same thing really. As you can see right there is Mule Kick as I was trying to get extra points for it. But yeah, it's relatively the same thing as before. It's nothing really different. It's nothing really, you know crazy there isn't really anything different other than there is a wonder fizz right here which i'll show you guys in a bit but yeah the zombies are different the gun the gun sounds are different when you shoot them so that's very unique to it of itself as well as the round changes the sound is different i believe in each different game uh they have different uh, rounds in the map and as for the weapon goes for, they're, they're the same weapons from Black Ops 3. They have new ones like the MP40 instead of the HG40. So they're very different in comparison to... They're not new weapons from, from War at War from the past. But yeah, as you can see right now, I'm going to open the door. The mystery box is right there as always. It's not going to leave. But yeah, this is just a comparison video as also the Annihilator is there, which you could use but yeah guys i'm just showing you like the comparisons of what guns there as you can see the kudas there i picked it up you know and just to give you overall feel of what this map is and how it looks and how the zombies look and how everything is in comparison but yeah right now i'm just you know rebuilding barriers just doing the same thing for it as we go up here as you can see, the Wonder Fizz is right there, so you could get your Juggernaut, Double Tap, any of those perks you could get from there. So that's kind of nice for them. There is no Pack-A-Punch, so if you guys are wondering of that, so, you know, you best use, you know, Wall Power or any of those type of things to get weapons Pack-A-Punch. But the only thing that's new completely is obviously the Gumballs and the Wonder Fizz. So yeah guys, after this, as you can see, I open the uh, door, and the Wonder Fizz is right there again. You can use it to get all your perks. The last game I was in had a connection interruption, so that's why my guns are different, and there's different people. And you can see we got Juggernaut there, and another Gumball right there. There's only two locations for the Gumball, so that's the only thing you're going to get. And instead of the flamethrower being in that drawer right there, in the little closet, it's actually a Locust, which costs five thousand points which i don't know why you know i thought it was like gonna be like a pack a punch weapon or a power up but i think it's a normal base weapon and you can get that from the mystery box so it's not it's nothing crazy as you can see we have frag grenades right there and and there you go there's a door right there so you could open so it goes around but yeah guys nothing too crazy in this map obviously if you're into this map you know just the bare bones straight up just survive it's very cool, it's very cool to have it, and it's just very, like, it's very awesome to play this game on Black Ops 3. My thoughts of this map is it's bare bones, it's just fun to play with friends, you know, just to go to high ground. Nothing crazy, you know, if you're a type of dude that doesn't really care about easter eggs or those crazy panthers or any of those type of things, you know, this map is for you, especially the War at War map. Those maps are going to be for you. And yeah, guys, my final review of this is just a very good review. You know, it's fun. It's fun to play. It's not something to keep on playing over and over again because it does get a little tiring and boring because there's just, it's just very small. But I do enjoy this map regardless of it. It is the first of its kind. It was the first ever Zombies map that was introduced in the Call of Duty series, which was crazy to think about that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about uh, Nogder and Tolton in the comments below uh, next time I will be talking about uh, Verrut and give my thoughts and opinions on that but yeah guys I hope you're enjoying this please make sure to like comment favorite and subscribe if you're new here give me your thoughts again on what do you think about Nocter and Toten or what do you think about Zombies Chronicle in and of itself and I will see you in the next one see you guys